Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here with breaking news. I wish it wasn't the case, but all the earmarks, all the evidence points towards this being a staged event. The tragic attack at the midnight showing of the new Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises. You have the United Nations Treaty, where they only need a few senators who are on the fence to vote for it, that Obama says he's going to sign in the next week and a half. We have that treaty in trouble on a razor's edge, and then magically this happens, and within hours, all the major media, the Democrats, they come out and say, the New York Times, Bloomberg, all of them, it's time to restrict guns, and that's what the Unidir Treaty clearly states, is that it allows registration and then confiscation. That's what Fast and Furious was about. So let me ask you this question. If they would stage Fast and Furious, if they would ship up to 20,000 guns and hand grenades to Mexico, and then the memos came out in CBS News to blame the Second Amendment, would they stage this? There have been many staged events where you get a patsy, drug them up, it's usually it's somebody in a government or university program, like Theodore Kaczynski, who was in MK Ultra, the uh, Unabomber. That's actually L.A. Times Associated Press, but nobody seems to know it. And then you set them up later down the road. And that's exactly what's happening here with the Loeffner case uh, in Arizona and now this new one in Colorado. They follow the complete M.O., and we're going to go over some of that. But the big telltale sign is not just the treaty coming up in a week and a half or this being near the Globalist Command Center, the alternate U.S. Capitol there under Denver and then uh, close by in Colorado Springs. The real telltale is that they were ready with the propaganda right on time for this and associated it with the big movie. Now what you do is you have your black op operator come in in a mask, just like Columbine and other events. They do the killing. Then you either kill or drug a patsy who's waiting with amnesics or other chemicals who will then take the blame. And it's very easy to do this with enough PCP, LSD, and stuff like that. Remember a few years ago the attacks in India? Uh, and they said it was Muslim extremists, but the Indian papers... Uh, you know, who were actually pretty much Hindu, so they wouldn't normally just you know, you know defend Muslims. The head of their security who got killed that day had been saying, this is staged by the West, and he got killed. Look all this up. And then the Chicago Tribune came out where it said CIA asset from the U.S. was the head of the group that attacked, and those guys were all drugged up. They you know, landed and shot up the shopping mall. Remember that? So we've seen this over and over again. Hitler attacked his own military base uh, at Gleiwitz, in, uh, on the edge of Poland in, in 39 to blame Poland for it, dressed up people in Polish outfits from the local concentration camp that they shot up. This is done over and over again. There's been cases where they've had these massacres at schools over in Russia, and then the security services pull out, and then they kill the patsy and arrest one drug guy. They have drugs, like in the case of Sirhan Sirhan, where the LAPD said, with the shooting of RFK, that his gun didn't do it, he hadn't shot him, and that it was another caliber from somebody behind him. That's what the coroner said. We, they have drugs like scopolamine that they've known about for hundreds of years, known as the devil's breath. You've heard of this, where they blow it on you. If they blow it on you, it will make you for 24 hours. You have total control. You can drive a car or anything. You're not inebriated, except that you have no free will. If they say stick your hand in a blender, you do it. If they say hack your baby up with a hatchet, uh, they do it. They say, you know, jump off a cliff, you do it. This is just some of the old type drugs directly from a plant, directly from a flower that they had. So, so that's what mind control is. A lot of this is declassified. And you look at how he supposedly got through a steel reinforced door where they're set into the wall where you can't get out because it closes into the wall. It only opens out. He supposedly kick this down, and they tried to hold it shut, but he got through. That's in the Associated Press. Folks, this is totally staged. This is totally staged. And even if he wasn't mind control himself, directly by government, which I, I believe the evidence is overwhelming, and most people do as well. I mean, trust your gut on this and history. These programs do exist. This has all the earmarks. But it gets worse. And here's what's really bad about it all. The television itself and these messages and things are programming people, and it's been proven to lead to violence. That's why the copycats, they're stationing police all over the place at these movie theaters in New York and other areas, because they think copycats may attack. That's the power of a movie, and that's the power of this guy doing it. They've just got to stage one real event, and it may start 
a bunch of copycats, and that brings us to this point. Now they're talking about, they talked about this years ago, but now they want TSA-style groping at malls, movie theaters, grocery stores, turning everything into a giant prison. This report's up at PrisonPlanet.com. Coming next, TSA at the movie theater, National Association of Theater Owners, reviewing security procedures. Uh, the London Telegraph got it right and said basically a death-obsessed culture, not guns, is to blame for Batman shootings. We wrote our own article uh, along those lines. Um, again, people reported that other men were inside there that looked like police, so that's why they didn't tackle him, because it was the authority figure. He was dressed like the good guys that wear black uniforms and masks, basically dressed up like Bane. Notice Bane basically dresses like our cops, but he's supposedly the bad guy. This is all massive programming. And we cannot let them use this to take our Second Amendment. Kurt Nemo wrote a great article at InfoWars.com showing the statistics that it is one of the rarest ways to die is from a mass shooting. It's almost as rare as shark bites. Shark bites are even more rare. The point is, don't give up your liberties because of this phantom idea. Go watch my review that came out a month ago, The Dark Knight Leaked, where I talked about this being false flag against the psyche to create this perception of terrorism being everywhere. And now they've actually ignited this. Uh, again, folks, that's a lot of the points. I covered a lot of it on the radio today. We'll cover it on the nightly news tonight. Please tell me what you think below here on the website and at YouTube. And we'll just continue to collate data, make your own videos, your own articles about angles that uh, you see. The point is, mind control is real. They staged Fast and Furious before. This is perfect timing. We'd be idiots not to look at this as a staged, self-inflicted wound, false flag, inside job. I'm Alex Jones, signing off for now. We'll have updates throughout the weekend at InfoWars.com.